Hey everybody, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. So today, this video is dedicated to what shopping looks like on Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. This ship, all of the, the shops, the restaurants, everything has sort of like an open concept in terms of the way it opens out to the promenade. And there are shops all throughout this boat, not just on the Royal Promenade. They are also located Central Park. There are shops up in the, um, the Aqua Theater area, the Aqua Dome. So we're gonna sort of explore around where all the different shopping is. So I'm starting out on the Royal Promenade on deck five. And right when you get off the elevators and you start entering the promenade, they have these pavilions or watches. So they do have these sort of like nice watches all on display here. And there are certain times that there is an attendant here if you are interested and they're on both sides. I haven't seen it yet, but a lot of times during the cruises, they have like specials going on and they usually set up tables. And I'm wondering if this is designed to sort of like not require them to set a table up and keep the space in the area open. Cause you can see it's a very wide sort of mouth into the promenade right here. I wonder if that's what that's about. There are also port merchants, which is sort of like the alcohol and tobacco where you can get that here and they do have different promotions and sales each day. Okay, so we are going just past the Pearl to where the Royal Caribbean logo is, and that is like where the Royal Caribbean merch is. So this is the Royal Caribbean merchandise shop. So let's check out some of the stuff they got. Starting with some uh, jerseys. Oh, and useful towels. Useful towels, so in case, you know, for the beach, you want your own bigger towel. Oh, y'all, look at the cute little Captain Bear. He's got Icon of the Seas on his lapel. Oh, he is adorable. Look at you with your little Captain hat. Oh, if you, if you want your own Royal Caribbean pickleball set, you're all set. They got you covered here. They have these bucket hats. Oh, look at the mugs. Icon of the Seas. It's 15 bucks for a mug. Look at that. I also have toothpick holders, aka shot glasses. Oh, and, and sippy cups. There's a nice sippy cup here for Coco K. And a similar kind of color scheme, we have the, the tumbler here. I don't know if it's called the tumbler, but it's like um, a portable mug. We'll call it a portable mug. We have this jacket and it's reversible and somebody has reversed it so this is one way of looking at it and this is the other like a two-for-one situation there with the reversibleness and all t-shirts i like this one it's embroidered and it's like an outline of the ship see i called it a ship i didn't call it a boat i did it with the hat It also comes in grayscale. Oh, this one also has that like embroidered outline of the ship. Nice. Oh, I like this. This is super soft. It's got this like haphazard V where it's like a little bit soft, but it, yeah. And it's got the icon. Like that. Royal Caribbean logo on the back. But I really like the material. It's the material that I like so much. This is like very soft and flowy. I like that. They also have like a ladies cut of this shirt. With the embroidery. Oh, this one says inaugural season. Maybe I should get like an inaugural season mug. And then there's this shirt here with all the little like dots of, of metallic. Another beverage container. This one looks a little a little sturdier with this kind of locking mechanism. Oh, the bling, the bling on the cup, the bling on the sippy cup. Look at that. 
I'm not huge on these Starbucks type of cups, but I, I mean, I, get, I can get behind that. I could. That's nice. It's one of those moisture wicking type of shirts, so it helps to keep you cool. Oh, I like this. It's like like that pearl essence where it like kind of changes color a little bit. It has a little rainbow look to it. And it's the inaugural season. It's 20 bucks. That's really nice. I don't usually use that type of a mug. Maybe if it came in like a, like a sippy cup or a thermos oh. type of mug. Oh. They even have things for the puppers. It's a first mate toy. And it's a shoe with a rope. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I also have a first mate doggy collar. And first mate doggo bandanas. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay. Oh look, and they have little doggy outfits. It's like a little doggy sweater. Oh, it's so cute. They also have a bunch of other types of merchandise on this side of the store. We have some hoodies, Icon of the Seas, more Royal Logo merch. It's a zip up hoodie. Let's see if anything on the back. Yep, Icon on the back. The hoodies are 70. This one, Royal Icon. Same thing on the back, just a different color. Ooh, I found something interesting. They have an inaugural season crystal jeweled pen. Look at that. It's $21. You know, you can buy a lanyard. It's a limited edition pen. So you don't lose it. In my, my day job, I always like to say, we all need to have a nice pen because we do a lot of writing. So, it would be useful. It would be useful. What is this? It says limited edition on it. But it doesn't say what it is. But it, it opens. I think it opens. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's another pen with a coin and a certificate of authenticity and a little, like, icon placard. Well, ain't that fancy. That is fancy. That one is $85. It's a little too much for my blood. The $21 one is more in my range. But look, that is really cool. They had a lot of nice stuff in there. You know, if you like the, the Royal Caribbean type of branding items, yeah, they had good stuff there. And remember how I had mentioned by the watches, they do like these pop-up things? There's a pop-up thing going on. They have a jewelry pop-up going on right now. And look, look at the prettiness. It all shines and twinkles. <laughs> Very beautiful stuff here. Look at this, it's a little frog. It's a frog pendant with frog earrings to match. It's really cute. And right across from where this pop-up is, is the collection. And that's like handbags, so let's go check it out. So this is the collection, and you can see in the windows, they definitely have a whole bunch of handbags here. Let's go inside and see what they got. So this is where all the designer handbags were. There's a lot of Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes. So you'll find all of those designer brands. They have a whole bunch of different bags there. But this is a small location, especially compared to other ships I've been on. So it does seem to have a limited selection, but this is where those bags are if you want them. Okay, also on deck five, you have the Effie, which is jewelry. And this is gonna be, the, this is like the jewelry brand they really promote a lot on the cruises. They have some kind of partnership. And this is, this is their go-to brand for jewelry. Then they have the Solera Beauty. And this is where all of your um, bath and body beauty products are, perfumes, colognes, things like that. And they do have the designer brands. Oh, oh, they have mine. They have mine. And yes, I know Sauvage is supposed to be men's cologne, but I started wearing it um, and I happen to like it. And I 
don't really find it masculine or feminine. I find it neutral and it smells good. So <laughs> just my, my take. We have Victoria's Secret collections. Moroccan oil. They even have Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh. I, I'm surprised I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty awesome. And it looks like, like regular prices from the stores, like $14.50, $15. Just you wouldn't get their, you know, their the sales that they have at the stores. And then they have the section starting at $19.99. So they have some affordable perfumes and colognes over here as well. So going in there reminds me a lot of shopping at like say Sephora, where everything is organized by brand. They have a lot of variety. They have different types of products, both cologne and makeup and skincare. So that's, that's sort of like the spot on the ship for those type of products. But in terms of prices, it's about the same as on land. Um, I think the only difference is you don't pay tax when you're on board. Other than that, the pricing looks on par with what you would get on land. So on deck six, the only shopping that's over here is similar to on deck five with the watches in the cases. They have some jewelry in these cases here as well. And again, there's an attendant here during certain hours. There's nobody here right now but they do have some jewelry on display. And you can also come by and feel free and take a look at any point. And then if you see something you like when the attendant is here, you can always come back for it. You know, like, like a little turquoise looking octopus. That's adorable. Oh, and there's other turquoise sea life. There's like that manatee and a turtle and a frog hugging the stone and a mermaid. There's also a little bit of shopping over here just as you're about to enter into Playmakers, there's a little shopping area here. More Icon of the Seas and Royal Caribbean branded merch, but it's like, it's subtler. Oh, I like this with the puffy. That's really nice. I like the sweatshirt with the puffy icon of the seas. I have this great little day bag. Oh, look at these. They come in this fancy, fancy little case here. It's nice. Oh, they have these cups, these Moscow Mule cups. Icon. Yeah, nothing on the back. Oh, and they have a cute little captain whale on a shirt. And then down the sleeves, it says, Vineyard Vines. It's so cute. They also have a supply of sunglasses available as well. So limited shopping on deck six. Let's go up to eight. Two decks, deck eight. and we're heading to Central Park. So I'm sorry if there's a little bit of wind, but Central Park is an outdoor section of the ship. And here is where Regalia Fine Watches is. So much like what we saw in the case, this is where you're gonna find the whole store for it. So I don't know about anyone else, but like, I always feel uncomfortable going into shops like that because like, I know it's way, way out of my price range. It's nothing that I would ever buy, but it's stuff that, you know, I could appreciate looking at but it's like, they, they always treat you with so much respect and they, they try to make you feel so welcome and comfortable walking in so that anyone can really go in. So it's totally a me thing and not a sales pitch thing, but I don't know, does anyone else feel like that walking into a shop where it's like, you know, you're just not gonna buy anything and you're just being like a looky-loo and yeah. I feel so judged. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It is totally a me thing. It is totally a me thing. The staff in there are fabulous. So that was the only shop on, in Central Park. I'm heading up by the Aquadome, the Aqua Theater on deck 15. That's my next stop. So as soon as I got off the elevator on this side, it's the Aquadome. And this is where there was the Aqua Show. And there's also an eatery as well as uh, shopping up here. And that's what we're here for. And this is the shopping that's up here. It is fancy, 
fancy royal jewelry, the royal chair. Just trying to give you the overview from outside here. Look at this. It's called the Royal Bling. And there's a nice photo op here. And all of this Royal Caribbean merchandise, but just fancy versions. So that is it for shopping on board Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. That doesn't even touch all the shopping around shopping at port when we, you know, get into the different ports of call. There's a whole like shopping, like where to go kind of a, a, a seminar. So lots and lots of different options. So I guess with that, I am done for the day. I'll see you all real soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.